Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching another mind-blowing, revolutionary episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review! We are gonna be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of season eight of The theme was a night of 100 Madonna. So let's look at some outfits, shall we? Let's do it. Season eight, here we go. Madonna, bam. Look number one. We've got this bitch in a kimono. In a kimono. This is a look that was probably taken off, like inspired by the Nothing Really Matters video, I think. Yeah. I'm a huge Madonna fan, so don't anybody fuck with me because I know what I'm talking about. This looks like something Madonna would wear. The shoes, the red pump, very disappointing for me. That's, because, yeah. Uh, really? Like you I can, know. You can find something else cooler. I don't know, it's a Madonna look. I think it's uh, actually a really great kimono and I love the asymmetry of it. Toot! Toot. Give it a toot. I give it a toot. <laughs> Another kimono. Um, a painted kimono, beautiful. Mm. I think it's pretty. All I'm saying is there's two kimonos. So now of there's- all the looks at Madonna, there's two kimonos already. Yes, and I love the choice of shoe with this. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a beautiful kimono. Yeah, the styling I just of wish it wish it were a little shorter to make her legs look a little longer. I would have I would have chosen to use the OB section, the belt in the middle, to be a different color. Maybe put a pop of red or bright yes. yellow. Crazy. There's certain things that are not that don't make me very happy about it, but it is a cool outfit, so I'm just gonna give it a toot reluctantly. I reluctantly abide. This is really tough. Can I take my toot back? I'm gonna toot it because I think it's a beautiful kimono. Okay, all right, right, right. It's I'm getting beautiful. really bugged by this. I'm a huge Madonna fan, so this, but this already, it's... we're two into these outfits and I'm already severely disappointed, so. It's a gonna, I'm gonna get through this, it's a, it's a toot. Okay, next we have this girl. Another kimono. Hmm. This one is a little more, it, to me it's more of a robe, not really a kimono. <sighs> I don't know. See, I actually like this robe. This robe is something that I would probably wear if a date were coming over or if I was about to get plowed at home. And I would normally toot it, but now I'm getting really fed up. This is a third kimono piece that's showing up on a Madonna themed runway. Now, if you would have, if you were in the back room and you saw two people already wearing a kimono, wouldn't you change it up like immediately? Let's talk about the uh, mid to late 90s and how Madonna was really just walking around showing off everything. Remember the sex book? Oh, I would have taken this book. all off, walked out there naked. Oh my God, and have like an erotica look with a short blonde yeah. wig and a mask over the eye. And, and just crop. been like, this is my Madonna look. Oh Here's my, my fucking pussy and my titties. This, yeah. is, this is ridiculous to me. It's like, ugh. All right, let's keep going. I give it a boot. Hey, guess what, Raven? What? It's another kimono. <laughs> What, what do you say? It's like, it's a beautiful kimono and it's beautifully worn and I would like to toot this, but I mean, it, it's, it makes reference to a certain Madonna look, but it's another kimono! <laughs> I lost it. <sighs> it fits well. I think it's beautiful. The hair looks great. It's, I mean, it's tootable, but I mean, it is another kimono. What the fuck? You know what? You better be glad that Raven was here to coax me off of this ledge because I was about to throw myself off. And I'm gonna go ahead and toot it with her. No, I'm please just gonna, do. No, I'm just gonna agree with you. But I, now I want you to throw yourself off that ledge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taking very personal offense to all of this because this yeah. is Madonna we're talking about. We're not going like into obscurity. We're not talking about Betty Davis in the 1940s. Yeah. Like why would you continually put on a fucking kimono? If, could I just boot everybody? Next we have this bitch. Oh, not a kimono. Not a kimono. I'm gonna go ahead and toot this right away because I know the reference and it's really beautiful. Bedtime done. Story. Bedtime Story. Which yeah. is my favorite Madonna album. Great video as well. Iconic shot of doves flying out of her pregnant belly. So many great iconic scenes and I'm glad that this queen did this. And I'm gonna give this a toot. Solid toot. Thank you very much, queen. I'm doing it right. I lo this is more inventive. This is yeah. more, um, yes, it is still from a, the, the newer generation of Madonna, mm -hmm. but this is someone that said, you know what? I bet all these other queens are gonna bring kimonos. Or maybe this was a kimono. <laughs> and she ran outside, grabbed some fucking <laughs> pigeons. Killed some birds and spray just- Spray painted them, stuck them on some wires and said, let's go. Bravo. That's how you do it. Me too. Next we have this lady. I love it. 
It's very cute. It's very cute. I like this. A League of Their Own Madonna. I like the fact that it didn't go pop Madonna, pop star Madonna, yes. and went for something that was one, out of one of her films. I wish that she would have been maybe padded or pulled in. It just looks kind of, looks a little boxy. I, I like the fact that it's taken from a film, but if you were given one opportunity to be on television and show yourself in a Madonna look, this one? What would you have done? So many. I would have done Frozen. I would have done one of these, like a 1980s. I would have done Vogue. Come on, Vogue, yeah. Madonna Vogue. How many different Vogue looks are there? This one, it's okay. I'm gonna give it a two because I get that it's a movie reference. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a two, it's a cute, cute two. two. Next we have this bitch. Well, I'm gonna give this person a lot of credit because it has all the elements that say Madonna. It is not a kimono, it is a cone bra and a ponytail. That is one of the most major and iconic looks that Madonna's ever worn. So, whether the execution of this look is good or not, I do appreciate the fact that they got those elements in there. They yes. could have taken it further. When someone says, hey, it's Madonna night, what are you gonna do? The first thing you'll think of is cone tits and a ponytail. Yeah. And then you'll work from there. Exactly. So this is tootable for that fact, but yeah. it's bootable for the execution. But I do no. want to say thank you to this bitch for getting yes. those two elements in there, and I give her two. Next up, we have this look from, mm -hmm. this is a red carpet look. Okay. When she came dressed as a Boy Scout. Mm -hmm. And at the time, it was pretty iconic. Like, everyone was like, oh my gosh, did you see Madonna showed up on the red carpet dressed as a fucking, Boy Scout. Mm -hmm. I don't remember her dressed as a Boy Scout. It's well, so obscure. It it's is like, very oh obscure. Oh my God. But kudos to you, girl, yes. for not wearing the goddamn and, kimono. And but I do love that she's wearing a fitted look. Mm -hmm. Shorter shorts, she's cinched, it looks The butt. body looks fantastic. Yes. The whole concept is great, but it really does not go with the Madonna challenge for me. I'm going to give this a toot because she looks fucking great in it. But is it about Madonna? Hell fucking no, it's one look. I mean, like, come on. I mean, that, I mean, that's a good Madonna. I don't know, I'm so... I just, why couldn't I have this challenge when I was on Drag Race? I would have killed this. <laughs> I'm upset about this. You know, I'm gonna say this is one of the most frustrating tooted and booted I've ever done in my in my, in my entire career of tooting and booting. Overall, they, they were all pretty, they were okay. Toots, yeah, they all weren't bad. Awesome. Well, which one would you have worn? I would have probably done like a prayer. Oh, with, with, the, with the Pepsi can? Y sure. No, like yeah. I mean, go there with it. And like a burning cross behind you and a black yeah. Jesus, always and forever. Yes, of course, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Our top two of the week is Raja. Me. Cause I did it right. Look at me, I get the toot. Top two bitch. Top two today on this Wednesday, let it be known on this challenge, I win. Bye. Trend alert! Kimonos. Mm, kimonos. Kimonos. Another one. Aw, uh, kimono. Four in a row. Kimono, kimono girl. You did it. Kimono, you did it. <laughs> <laughs>